me see. I'm in the car, so it might be kind of dark. But good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. It's me, Malu Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. I am in a good mood. It is Monday morning. It is Juneteenth. I got on my Minding My Black Owned Business shirt. And I'm at one of the happiest places on earth. I'm outside of Target. Um, the last vlog you guys saw was when I was at home getting ready to pack and kind of move. I did not vlog last week because literally all I did was pack, 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 pack. By the time y'all are watching this, I will already be in my new apartment. I move in one week. I move next Monday. So this week is go time for packing. Any like anything i have left to do small stuff i realize how much small crap i have anything else i have to throw away anything i'm trying to sell any diy projects like i want to paint my brow stools i have to do all that stuff this week because i go i move to my apartment on monday and then literally like wednesday i'm going to new orleans so i have two days to at least physically get everything in my apartment lock the door and then go on vacation i'm definitely vlogging in new orleans because i'm going with my sister and my family and it's easy to vlog when i'm on vacation with them but um anyways yes yeah, so i'm in a really good mood i'm just excited i'm getting nervous and a little bit of like anxiety about moving because it's like moving is just stressful anyway but also it's like this is a big move like this is a big sorry the sun is shifting to my life moving this is a really big move i'm really excited Two months ago when, you know, I kind of was like, okay, thinking like, okay, I'm probably going to have to move. I would have never thought or known the process I'd have to go through and just the roller coaster and all the kind of things to get me to this point. But I'm so proud of myself. I feel so good. I'm so excited to get into my own space with me and Taffy, wake up my own space, my own peace out of a negative situation not having to think about negative situations, things like that. Not having like, what if something, you know, there's an incident today or a situation today or argument or whatever. So I'm just really excited. And it's just good to have your own thing. Like I haven't decorated or lived my own or really done any of that in like seven years. So I'm excited. So I'm about to go in Target. I actually do have some stuff that I need. Um, just like moisturizer and stuff like that that I'm kind of run out of. I need to grab real quick. But also... I don't know if y'all saw, but allegedly t um, Target has too many TVs and like home decor, so they're supposed to have stuff on sale. So I'm going to check that out. And also, sometimes you just need to go to Target. Sometimes you just need a little stroll through Target. Not even buy anything, just or have a list. You just let Target tell you what you need. So I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough, workout, and stuff like that later. And then pack, any pack, pack, any pack, pack. Um, so yeah, this is the moving vlog. This is the packing blog. This is the moving blog. This is the get up out of there blog. So uh, let's go on Target. So one reason I'm trying to get inspo too is because I'm doing this registry for my housewarming and um, mainly just doing like an Amazon registry just to kind of figure out what I need. But like I told you on the last vlog, going in stores just helps me get inspo. But you know, people always say like, well, let us know if you need anything and do. So I'm actually gonna put the Amazon registry in the description box. I don't know why, who knows? Maybe you wanna send me an oven mitt or something. I don't know, but it's gonna be there. So do what your heart tells you, nothing at all, everything at all, I don't know. But I saw somebody else put it in their moving vlog and I was like, you know what, that's smart because I actually went to their list and was like, I can get homegirl a little scrubbing brush, a little dishwashing brush, that's nothing. So yeah, headed to Target, happy Monday, let's go. See, this is the kind of cute stuff that Target has that I have to convince myself I don't need. Even just, cause I am gonna have a little office space. I'm literally just looking because I did this with the house. I bought a bunch of stuff before I really decorated and ended up not using it. So I'm not gonna buy anything, I'm just looking. Allegedly. Let's see. Everything's very boho, which is not what I'm going for. Maybe I need to walk through like a Z gallery or something a little more modern glam. I do want plants, but I want real plants. Where's the sales? Now some stuff I know I'm gonna need, but I like 
these. But I know I can find this on Amazon for cheaper, but I do like gold flatware. I'm not taking any flatware because it's just one of those things that's dumb to split. Like, I don't want half of a flatware set. And I don't need that many. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna find something like this on Amazon. Probably for half the price. This is stick on wallpaper. I've been thinking about doing something with this, like this gold one. I've never done stick on wallpaper. If you've done stick on wallpaper, let me know. But I did get some spray paint. Um, I'm gonna spray paint my stools and some vases for my flowers so I can repurpose them because we're not throwing stuff away. So I'm gonna paint those probably tomorrow. Let me get out of here. So I got a little bit of inspo at Target. Nothing was really on sale, so I didn't buy anything. But randomly looked on Facebook Marketplace. If you are moving, Facebook Marketplace is going to be your best friend. I have sold so much stuff that I didn't even think I could sell. I mean, wine flutes, like literally just, if it was trash to me, I figured somebody would at least give me $10 for it. So between Poshmark and Facebook Marketplace, I've sold so much stuff, but also there are a lot of other people who like me are moving and just want to get rid of stuff so i found a coffee table um this girl's giving to me for a great price i have to go pick it up um it is she's literally moving today so she's trying to get rid of it like immediately so i'm going to pick it up hopefully it can fit in my car um typically i take people with me to do these things because also you gotta be safe it is elena and they be out here selling people but about to run home um put my stuff up grab some things and go get me a coffee table my friend is giving me a couch because she's moving i've been obsessed with her couch for a long time so i'm excited about this couch it's really pretty um y'all will see it eventually it's like velvet love it but yeah do not sleep on facebook marketplace for getting rid of your stuff selling what you think is trash um like i had more than one blender all kind of stuff and then fitness equipment all kind of stuff you can sell and then i've also just found like brand new stuff some people just buy more than one chair they don't need all kind of stuff so next time y'all see me i will hopefully have this coffee table at my house baby i wonder baby i wonder put your, put your sweats on, put your sweats on. So i'm cleaning up the garage i wasn't technically vlogging but i just wanted to capture the progress the process it looked crazy in here i started doing Christmas decorations, hey Phoenix. And I got to a box and I opened it and it's all wedding stuff. So we're gonna go through it um, and I'll list what I can list and stuff. I did not know this was in here, but yeah, this is just some of the impromptu, when I said it was like an emotional roller coaster, some of the stuff that is a little impromptu when going through the house, you just find stuff or find pictures or whatever it is. So yeah, I'm gonna go through my wedding box. Good morning, uh, it is Tuesday morning. Um, as you guys saw, I did some my DIY yesterday. I did the stools, um, I got the table home. Very excited to not get kidnapped, got the table home. I actually have to get some more spray paint to finish these stools, but I am painting them a gray color to match one of my mirrors. Um, so I have to get that, and then I think I also need to get some spray paint um, because I have another large mirror. I have two stand-up mirrors, which I'm so excited about because it's going to make the space look so much bigger. Um, and one is a dark wood right now, and I'm trying to decide what color I want to paint it. But I'm going to paint that also. Like I said, I'm trying to get all those projects done before the apartment because it's just easier to do here in the garage. But I went to bed early-ish kind of yesterday. No thanks to Beyonce um, coming out with her song, which I feel like is the anthem was written for me um but yes anywho it's tuesday morning i am about to go to my third session of my laser hair removal you guys know i've done a whole video on it which i'll put right here and um, i also just kind of updated you guys so this is my third session i'm gonna be doing six total um it's getting easier each time and faster each time honestly i've had basically no hair grow back so i'm going to ask her i mean i know i have to do all six i think but i'm going to ask her i guess like if you would have to do all six because i've seen really great results but that's a depth aesthetics like i said i'll put the video that i did for if you have questions i'll probably answer them in that 
but yes so we're gonna head to do that do some diy i've got some clothes to drop off to like goodwill and stuff and uh, just kind of continuing to pack i meant to show you guys how much stuff i have packed it's unbelievable how much stuff i have i don't know where it's all gonna go in my apartment my apartment's a decent size but i i am ha have to be a hoarder i don't understand because it's just so much stuff but either way feeling good head of the depths i will see you later i love it in here every single time got my music playing i got my little robe okay i am back home like i said i went to do my laser hair removal session three literally when i go i am in and out in 20 minutes it actually takes me longer to drive there than sorry i just ran up the steps <laughs> It takes me longer to drive there than the actual appointment. I literally got there at 10 and I think I was in my car at like 10, 27. It's crazy. So again, underarm and Brazilian. Um, I asked her a few questions this time just because like it's summertime and I'm traveling so, or swimming and stuff. So I asked her about swimming tomorrow. She said 24 to 48 hours and I should be fine. So I can go swimming later in the afternoon tomorrow. Um, and I even asked her because it's been three sessions and I'm supposed to do six, but literally I have had no hair grow back, but she said I should still do all six sessions. Those are just questions that I got on Instagram that I wanted to share with you guys. So yeah, so she does recommend six sessions for like completion and then maybe like one or two each year just for maintenance. So I love it way easier than waxing, way faster, less painful. Um, I'm back at the house. Look at all. I just want y'all to see. It looks crazy because, I mean, I'm moving. So this is in the kitchen. I'm getting rid of this box. This box is humongous. There is a box in here. Um, I have stuff that I need to pack from the kitchen. But let me just show y'all. I know I have too much stuff. I don't know how to get less stuff. I've thrown away so much. This is the bulk of this stuff. <laughs> so many things. There's boxes downstairs. And this is all me packing. So this is all just my stuff. This is one person things. I did at least hang the stuff so I don't have to redo it. Um, I'm gonna take these in the boxes. I This isn't even me showing you guys my bedroom um, and what's in there. I don't know how I'm gonna fit all this stuff into my apartment. My apartment is a good size. So it's not like I have, you know, it's not like a super tiny studio, but it is a one bedroom apartment, but still it's just so much stuff. But I know, I mean, I'm downsizing from, we were in a four bedroom house. So I know I'm gonna probably end up getting rid of more stuff once I start unpacking. I know for a fact, I'm gonna get rid of more stuff once I start unpacking, but I got rid of stuff that I knew I hadn't worn or stuff I knew I didn't want as far as decor. Got rid of a bunch of wedding stuff. So I have my dress, um, I probably will, resell my dress because it's a beautiful dress and it is like customized and all kind of stuff so definitely want to resell my dress um i sold a good bit of wedding stuff i sold like the robe that i wore a lot of people asked me about that robe initially when i wore it and were trying to buy it and i said no but i sold that on poshmark um i think i sold my shoes i wore in the wedding so i sold a good bit of stuff but i got rid of other stuff i didn't want i am keeping like my photo album and some stuff like that because I mean there is still really beautiful picture first of all the photographer was very expensive but there is really beautiful pictures of just like me and my parents or me and my bridesmaids and stuff like that um that I know that I still want so someone recommended to me who had actually been divorced like not to get rid of certain things because although they may be painful right now to look at or you know it might not be a happy memory right now when i am 50 60 70 80 whatever the case may be that was still a moment in my life these are still events in my life these are still you know important things in my life so the recommendation was to basically just box them up send them to my mama's house or something like that and then hold on to them you know still just for memories because it's still like a graduation picture like it's still you know a good time or something that happens so yeah so i have all that it's tuesday so i have six days left i have to paint my mirror gold some other little projects today but really i'm chilling today so 
Today we might be, you know, might be the end of today. I know tomorrow, like I said, I have a little bit of a relax. I'm gonna do go to the pool and stuff. But that's the main thing. Like I said, moving log. I went to Home Depot and didn't find a ton of, you know, stuff just to get more spray paint, but trying to get ready. And my bag is already packed for New Orleans. Really, the only clothes I have out are my clothes for New Orleans and stuff that I know I would need. Um, my trick was if I packed all my going out clothes, then I wouldn't be able to spend money. So that's my plan. So that's why I've just been in like swing dresses and workout clothes the whole time. So I finished my DIYs for the day. I just wanted to show you guys. This is one of my mirrors that's gonna go in my bedroom. I just painted her gold. Love it. Literally took one coat. It was a dark wood, kind of similar to these chairs. It was a dark wood. I didn't do a DIY video, so I'm just kind of doing it here. Um, my mom was like, I hope you film that. <laughs> but um, it was a dark wood, and I did this gold color. Um, I painted these two, but let me show you the gold that I did. Because I was definitely Googling paints to use. So I used the Bare Focus. There we go. I used the Bare Gold Metallic Paint. This is gold gloss. They also have champagne in a vintage gold but i was trying to get it um as close to this table as possible and it is pretty close it was eight dollars so it is about double the price of sorry i'm sweating it is so hot and i've been in the garage in the driveway all day um it's about double the price of the rust-oleum um ultra cover that i used on the others which are about four bucks five bucks but i was just concerned about quality and gold coming out right and oh, I look rough. And not having to prime it and all that kind of stuff more than once. So that is one can. I did the mirror in. Um, and then these will be floating shelves. So again, I use the Rust Oleum in the Blossom White, not the White White, because I almost wanted to like disappear into the wall. And then I did um, Satin Granite in the other for the stool. So these would go in my little bar area which you guys will see eventually. I didn't do the best job doing the stools and the um, shelves because it has some run, but the way that I'm gonna position them, I think it'll be fine. I was more so concerned about making sure that the mirror was quality because I feel like mirrors can be a really big part of your space and they can be expensive, which is why I'm like, upcycle. If I can take something and paint it and make it you know, new again, then that'll be perfect. So. This is my other mirror. The house looks crazy because obviously things are everywhere. But this is the other mirror. Funny enough, when I lived in my apartment before, someone threw away this big Ikea mirror. Literally it was against the dumpster and it was gold. And I painted it this slate gray color. And now I'm painting my other mirror gold, so full circle. Um, but. All this will go with this little side table that I have here that I got from Home Goods a while ago for the house. So those will be my gold accents. And then I have some other things on my little registry for gold accents, like a new tea kettle that's gold and just some other stuff like this. I don't want to over gold because I already have like a velvet couch and it's kind of giving brothel a little bit. It's leading a little, I don't want it to look like a 70s like brothel that's the word I, mean. I don't want it to look too you know what i mean there's a thin line between like glam and gaudy i honestly didn't even want it to go as glam as it's going but that is just kind of what happened like i need a new kettle because what yeah so i'm not even going to take this with me um but yeah i just want to show you guys a little diy that's what i've been doing all day people ask you know what are you doing today what are you doing this once monday hits you know once i move i'm back outside but this some friends invited me somewhere tonight and it wasn't expensive, but I was like, nope. I said I wasn't spending anything. So I'm not gonna go. But yes, that's my day for today. Tomorrow we relax and enjoy just a little bit. Hey y'all, it is Wednesday. I did some random shopping this morning, did the five below home goods just to get some inspo kind of look. I'm starting to get like ready ready. I ordered um, my stuff from Amazon that I know I'm going to need, like the TV mount and little stuff like that. Now, like I said, I'm at the pool with Ebony. Ebony, say hey. Hey, don't look at my hat. I look like Robert Brown. So it's I the pool know. day. We When we're at the pool, we're at the pool. We're not going to be cute. We're going to get our hair wet. I mean, bathing suit is cute though, but 
that's what today is giving. Giving very relaxed. I still got to pack this up tonight. I packed this morning, but I'm gonna take a little midday break. Got some drinks, nothing too crazy, but just gonna enjoy a little bit. It's so nice out here. It's like pool weather. This is pool time and nobody's here, so that's even better, so. The sun is sunny. Benefits of being bald. Cause I'm gonna slick this hair right back on down. About sanitizer this time. Got all kind of stuff. We got a whole bag of stuff. Sushi, salsa, the things. My friend texted me at like 7 a.m. She was like, I think Beyonce wrote a song for you. And I was like, it does sound like it. I was like, I feel like when a montage, I'm cleaning my closet out like. <laughs> Yeah, I said for all the niggas. She's yes. saying, we're saying she quit my job. I said, yeah. So I said, don't let her request that. We're not gonna quit our. She's saying quit the job that don't serve you. She's not saying Let's quit see. your good ass job. I was like, I was hoping y'all say good, so we don't take her seriously. Cheers. 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 That is boiling. Good morning, good morning. It is Thursday. I feel like this week is flying by. Let me see, how's my lighting? Um, Sorry, I'm trying to like get so situated. Everything is everywhere. I'm in like the final stages of packing where it's just chaos. Here is my wine bottles y'all might remember or you probably seen uh, instead of a guest book I did wine bottles so I had 10 bottles um, that people signed and then every year on anniversary we drink a bottle so I packed up the bottles because we don't waste alcohol so um, I'm thinking for like my housewarming or something like that we're just gonna make a big old sangria like a big old, we did it, we made it, sangria. So that's the plan for the bottles. But what I knew is that I wasn't throwing away perfectly good wine. Um, can y'all see me? What I'm doing this morning though is, I had a gallery wall, um, like four pictures in the dining room and I'm keeping the frames. Um, but it's kind of like a project day again today. But I needed to change the pictures out. Um, I kind of been avoiding doing this just because I thought it was gonna like, I don't know, trigger me? How did I get this on here? Yeah, I expected it to trigger me. So I'm removing the um, pictures that were in there currently and I am putting up pictures for the apartment so that when I move, I will already have the pictures in there. Um, I am, Big on just like what I'm taking into the apartment and stuff like that and I want it to be good energy So I'm gonna go ahead and do the pictures now. I like I said, I've been avoiding doing the pictures I don't know what this morning was like. Let's check. Let's switch out the pictures So I had a, like a birthday shoot that I did last year and I posted the pictures and stuff. I love 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 the pictures and I mean I paid for the photo shoot so I didn't want to waste the pictures and I love these frames so I also didn't want to waste the frame so we are repurposing i put on my instagram story asking people like is it weird to have pictures of yourself because i guess i had pictures of like family photos and stuff but i have never just had pictures of myself so i don't know i felt like is that vain is that weird if you walk in somebody's house and they have like pictures of themselves but the girl said they got pictures themselves. Somebody actually sent me a video where they have a poster, a movie poster, it was a guy, a poster of themselves in their house. So the consensus was to utilize these pictures. So that's what I'm doing. And it's really easy just to switch them out. I'm just popping it right in the frame. Oh, is that one kind of crooked? Hopefully these are all centered. I printed these right out at CVS. Um, for like a couple bucks each. I did them in black and white. So it's not like conflicting with anything. Technically I already had on black and white in the outfits, in the picture, so. But, swapping these out. I don't know where these are gonna go in the apartment yet, but I just wanted to get this part done. 
So like I said, energy wise, I'm not, you know, bringing old pictures and stuff into the apartment. And I need to clean the glass, but there she go. <laughs> so yes, that's my little morning project. Is that crooked? We gonna go with it, I'm not doing it again. Um, but yeah, so that's my little project for the morning and then I'm gonna start packing up pictures and stuff like that. Sorry y'all, I know I'm probably out of frame. Um, I'm gonna go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby today because I really wanted to do, um, for my neon sign that's in my vanity room, I wanna do some kind of like grass wall or something like that. And they just get really expensive. I've been looking at ordering stuff, but I'm a visual person, so I really need to see what I'm getting in person and kind of plan it out in my head how I'm gonna do this. So I'm just gonna go to the store. I've been watching so many videos, stalking Pinterest, on AliExpress, all this kind of stuff, but I gotta see it. Even if I gotta pay more in person, it just, I gotta be able to put it together in my brain. So let me finish these pictures. Then we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby um, and call it a day. And like, look at that dress. This was a good picture. Um, yeah, so I do have my dress, like I said. I still have my dress. Um, and I'm gonna get rid of these pictures. I have a photo album, like I said, for like when I'm old and wanna look at stuff um, or show people me when I was young or whatever the case may be. Like I said, people keep telling me not to just throw everything away. So I'm trying not to be rash and just throw everything out. But I'm gonna get rid of these pictures. These are just reprints. But yes, let me do this stuff and then we're gonna head to Hobby Lobby and Michaels. I am gonna work out today. I'm gonna get to it. It's so hot today, honestly, walking is a workout. So it may just be a cute walk with the girls and then we call it a day. But let me do these pictures. Let me get this over with. This is taking longer than I needed to. Low key, don't even know where I am, but there's also a Dollar Tree, a TJ Maxx and some other stuff over here. So this project is getting done today. I might have spoken too soon. Did not expect. to be empty I'll see what I can find okay so there's still some hope I just found these they are $24.99 but they're 60% off and greenery is just expensive this could work too $19.99 here's what I'm thinking so y'all can see the vision I'm gonna do it on the ground so they already have the mats on the back like this that I would have to like buy and fix them to, but I could basically just kind of situate them like this and put the words over it. Y'all see what I'm thinking? I think I'm gonna go with it because I've been looking and this is either gonna take a lot of time or a lot of money. So this might be the best way to do it. So, <laughs> uh, that was uneventful. I am excited, but I am a little shook. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I thought this was about to be an all day excursion trying to find the stuff to get this backdrop because the way it was going online, I just didn't know what I wanted. Um, stuff was just so expensive. Stuff wouldn't get to August. I just knew I was gonna walk in here, maybe find some one thing I like, but not like all the stuff I needed. I have to go to Hobby Lobby, I have to go to Home Depot. So the fact that I just walked in, y'all saw it was empty, so I was immediately, I'm glad I didn't just turn around. I was about to just walk out, but then I saw these, I was like, hmm. I put the little picture up um, of kind of what I'm thinking, what I can use that for. Um, they had the pink and gold. I went with the pink because my sister, I asked my sister her opinion. I went with the pink. I have a lot of gold already. And like I said, I don't want it to be giving brothel. Um, so I did the pink and worst case scenario, if I don't like the pink, I can pull them out and still have the green um, and just maybe fill that in if I need to. But yeah, so I think I got the backdrop. I will show y'all when I get home what I'm thinking with the sign over it. I know y'all might be like, why is she getting all this stuff ahead of time? The reason I have to do all this stuff ahead of time or some stuff I feel like I need to have before I move, my brother, my brother-in-law, I just call my brother, but my brother-in-law and my sister um, are coming down to help me move. And he is like Bob the Builder. So anything like putting curtains up, mounting TVs, putting shelves up, I don't know what it's gonna take to mount this sign up, anything like that I wanna have prepared. So when he 